Okay, guys, I'm going to try this again. Said I had a low connection. You know, I got all this fancy internet in my office out here. So it better work because I'm not happy when my internet doesn't work. All right, let me see if I can make that look clearer. Right there. It's kind of bright. Hold on just a second. And I'll tell you about this, guys. Um, it's not a door hanger. It's smaller than a door hanger. But I want to try to come up with some different ideas and ways to use my chalk couture. So um, I ordered a bunch of these small blanks and um, I just painted it. And this is actually gonna be a Valentine's Day truck. I'm gonna see what this is looking like. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. If y'all would say hello when you come on and um, share the video. I, we've got 400 people on um, my craft uh, Facebook page now, and I just want to keep building that. I'm going to share this real quick, and um, I'll tell you about this little truck. It comes plain, and I just um, I sprayed it with um, primer this morning, and then I just looked at about 50 different truck ideas and came up with this myself and I'm no professional artist or anything and um, I just kind of looked at a lot of different stuff there's a lot of great um, artists out there that do these type things that you, you can find them anywhere I like um, it's a girl named Tamara from Southern Adornments I think she's really talented she does a lot of YouTube videos let me share this and then I'm gonna sit down and start um, putting some chalk on here where y'all watching from is anybody watching from work <laughs> I don't know if everybody's uh, or if anybody's working today Right. I know y'all are getting tired of me just sitting here doing nothing. Anyway, hey Paula, cold Michigan. I'm gonna see if I can get in my chair. <laughs> I, I don't know if you heard me earlier. I said I'm gonna try to um, see. I'm trying to build this page, so uh, I'm trying uh, the different videos, different ways. Those glasses look crooked on my head. Maybe my head's just crooked. But anyway, um, what I was saying earlier is um, I'm trying to figure out new ways to use my chalk couture. I'm, and today I'm going to be using three different things from the um, one of the vintage truck add-ons. So what I did was, this is about, this is not a door hanger. This is a lot smaller than a door hanger. It's only 10 inches. But this morning I um, sprayed it with primer and then I looked at a bunch of different trucks and came up with this idea and um, anyway so I'm gonna try to make it look like a vintage Valentine truck and if you guys don't mind sharing this video I'd really appreciate it uh, I just hit 400 on this craft page and I'm trying to build it and um, anyway I think we can have some fun over here and I want as many people to join you know that might be interested and um, I'm going to be using the, uh, three different small... Whoops, I'm about to drop that in there. That's going to be a mess. I am definitely a messy crafter. If y'all been following me very long, you know that. And I am from Alabama. And I'm sure y'all cannot tell with, by my accent. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't help it. I'm... Uh, too old to change now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Have any of you heard about Chalk Couture? I have been um, with the company for uh, since last March, and I love the products. I am somebody, I love to craft, but my handwriting is not that good, and I can do basic um, 
you know, I can, like, I can paint this truck, but as far as designs and stuff, I'm not that great at it. And it's a great product to use when you want to, you know, bump up your, your crafting quality. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, this um, little kiss and hug symbol down here on the tag. And I'm going to do this upside down. These are silk screen transfers, and um, they're similar to um, stencils, except they have a silk screen area. They're reusable, they're very sticky, and um, they work great. They come out really crisp. Let me see if I can line this up straight and talk at the same time. That could be a problem. Okay. And I'm just pressing down the silk screen area. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. And that's gonna be my tag. I'm gonna see if I can do this without making any more of a mess. And what you do is you just start the chalk paste. This is chalk paste. It dries hard and it's removable from a chalkboard, but it's smudge proof and um, you can remove it by wetting your chalkboard. I'm gonna just, and these, um, I just wash them in my sink and you can see how uh, quick and easy that was. And that's one reason that I love it. Like I said, I love to craft, but I really, I don't know, I, I may be beyond the point of, you know, having good handwriting or whatever. Because <laughs> I probably have tried all my life and, you know, sometimes I say, oh, I can do that, but really I can't. So, and now I'm gonna put the word love on here. I listed the transfer up there that I'm that I'm using. It is really big. It's got a lot of different options on it. And I'm just using this. I'm gonna scoot my chair back a little bit. I'm not used to sitting down, but I thought I would try my video, you know, in a different way so I can share it over there on Instagram. You know, all of these different um, social media platforms, and that is just going to have to you know what? I'm gonna dry that a little bit, I think. I got my hair dryer hooked up here. I don't wanna smudge it. Uh, hey, I got a few questions, and Teresa wants to know if the paste can be permanent on wood. Yes, it can. Um, what you would do is, once you do your design, you could use either a spray poly or a wipe-on poly. I'm gonna try to line this up while I'm talking. It's gonna go over just a little bit. Let me see. But anyway, yeah, you could put a clear coat over it to make it permanent. Okay, and I'm hoping, let me, I'm gonna hold this up and look at it. Let me turn it around. And I'll turn it back around before I do it so you can see it. And y'all, it says I've got a low internet connection. This internet's gonna make me so mad because I paid for the guys to come out here. Okay. And then like I said, I just, hey Janet, I just press down the area where the silk screen is. And I'm gonna do this in red also. Everything I'm doing is in red. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's kind of, when I hold it up, it looks like it, you can't see it for your comments, but hey, I think we can see it, okay. And this, like I said, this is gonna go over a little bit in a couple of spots, but I'm fine with that. Everybody knows that um, I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> So if my crafts get a little messy, I'm fine. I craft to keep myself in a good mood. <laughs> I find it relaxing and satisfying and um, I don't know. It, it just kind of takes my mind off things. 
you know, if, if my mind is on things. Crafting is just a way to kind of an escape. And as you can see, I'm just pulling the uh, chalk paste across. I'm gonna... This chalk paste goes a long way because you only use a little bit. All right, and this is always the part that I like the best when you get ready to take your transfer off and see what you did. That looks pretty cute. What do y'all think? I'm gonna look at my video here. They, that vehicle. Oh, it needs an Auburn tag, Janet. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna put hearts in the windows. It's all about love today, y'all. <laughs> and listen, um, if you have any more questions about Chalk Couture, just leave them in the in the comment section and I'll get to them. I'm going to take my hair dryer and dry this a little bit before I put my hearts in the window. Can y'all see this video okay? It kind of looks a little blurry when I'm looking at it online over there. Let's see. I need to be blowing my hair too. I look kind of wild today. With Chalk Couture, you can um, order on my website. Uh-oh, Sandy, I'm so sorry. It's blurry. Let me see. I think it's my crazy internet. Um, anyway, I listed the link above for this transfer. But like I said, it's 18 inches by 24 inches. Okay, so it gets blurry, then it clears up. Okay, y'all, I think it's my internet. And y'all, I have been suffered with this internet for so long, and I had somebody come out here and put a new line in, and I guess that's not working right now. Well, hopefully, once it's done, and now these are just a bunch of little hearts that I'm going to put in the back of the truck. I'm sure y'all have seen similar things like this, except done by people that could actually um, do the artwork. I'm just showing how easy it is to use these transfers, even though you can use them on chalkboards, you can also use them um, to cre create your own artwork. So, I think that's pretty good. And this, this one's got a pretty large silk screen area. Oh, you know what? Let me move that over. And, and they're repositionable. I'm trying to make it a little bit even. And trying to keep it in, in my back window. Is everybody working today? I know it's a holiday. And I should be working. Actually, I've been working, but I just thought I'd take a really quick break. And come on here and do a live. So I didn't do one this weekend. I meant to, but I didn't. And I'm going to add a few more little doodads on this once I get finished. Some stuff to personalize it a little more. Now, I know y'all have been watching me do this chalk tour for a while. Almost, gosh, I don't know, nine months or so. But if anybody's interested in becoming a designer, let me know. I joined um, to, originally I joined to get a discount because designers get a discount. But now I have a team and um, we have a lot of fun together, sharing ideas and, you know, helping each other out. And in February, we're going to have, um, uh, Oh, good grief. Chalk subscriptions. So if anybody's interested in that, um, you will get a um, specially designed transfer just for the subscription for everybody that gets a prescription. <laughs> subscription, not prescription. <laughs> okay, I had a little bitty mess up right there. 
I can fix that with a little paintbrush. I was a little concerned about that because I just painted this wood this morning, so it really hadn't had time to cure. But nothing a tiny paintbrush can't fix. But anyway, like I was saying, if you like the products, you can order from my website. If you want to become a designer, uh, just say designer, um, comment designer. Uh, if you want me to message you about anything, if you have any questions, you can say message me. Um, whatever. Hey, I'm easy. <laughs> okay. Now, what do y'all think about this? Can I get some love? <laughs> some hearts? Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, Teresa. And guys, um, I didn't time myself. I don't know how long I've been on here, but I've been kind of goofing off and trying to, you know, make sure my computer's doing right and everything. But you see how fast it was. Once it dries, it's smudge proof. If you want to make it permanent, you could use, um, well, as a matter of fact, I have this Americana soft touch varnish. I could put this over and make it permanent. You can use this on a chalkboard and uh, wet it and wipe it off. Hey, Janet, thanks for the hearts. <laughs> and like I said, I'm trying to come up with, you know, because everybody, I'm sure they're like, oh, chalk couture, chalk couture, just, it, you know, you just put it on chalkboards. But you can do so much more with it. Oh, in fact, I made this shirt with the uh, Couture ink. I forgot to, forgot to mention that. Anyway, um, let me grab a couple of things back here. Um, I made this, and it, it's going to be on the blog this week. But this is um, one of those hearts from Target. I think they called it a tray. But anyway, I, and it was already pink from Target. So I used one of the transfers with the dots, and then I used the um, ear, just my type. And then I took the end of the paintbrush and stuck it in the, the chalk paste, and then I did those dots, the little blue dots around the sides. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about love these days. No, <laughs> right now before Valentine's Day. And then this, I don't, I don't know, y'all probably saw me do this. Um, this was from the Target Dollar Spot, but it was a, um, like an ornament. And I put those flowers on there, trying to disguise the ornament, and trying to just make it like a wall hanging. And this, this is also a craft paint on the bottom, and then, um, the Chalk Couture You Are Enough transfer. And it is exclusive to, uh, online shopping, so... This is something, this was our monthly transfer that I got. And then I just used black paint and went around the edge and put those little dashes and dots and then the solo wood flowers. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is, yes, you can put Chalk Couture on chalkboards and that's awesome. In fact, I got one more thing to show you. said I had a low connection. I hope it's still recording. Anyway, I cut this out with my uh, saw and then I painted the vintage truck on here. So that's just a piece of the thin plywood. Actually, I think it was some packing material. And then this is one of the Chalk Couture chalkboards. So see, yes, you can put it on chalkboards. And I did a little different design with the hearts on this one. I did different colors. So, it's great on chalkboards. It's great on t-shirts. This is the ink and it's permanent. Let me try to straighten. I don't think I'm sitting straight. Oh yeah, I love the truck, Kathy. And I've done it in so many ways. You know, I did it in pink. Did it in plaid. Gosh, I don't even know what all I've done it in. And then this little truck... It's a mini. It's not a door hanger. It's just, you know, like a, a wall hanging. Thank you, Sandy. 
Yeah, I use the uh, Couture ink and you let it dry, then you heat set it. I use the um, Easy Press, but you can use the iron. And then I just washed it today. And of course, I had to put it on as soon as I got it out of the dryer. But anyway, so um, if, you, if you have any other ideas or suggestions and you want me to um, try Chalk Couture on something else, uh, let me know in the comments and um, if you want to talk about joining you can message me or have me message you if you want to order um, There's a link at the top of this video But anyway guys, I'm gonna this was my afternoon break. <laughs> I Think it took all of I don't know seven minutes to do but um, Thank y'all for watching and and thank y'all for helping me build this page uh, I was at 400 when I came on here, and I'm hoping that you guys shared the video, and we can get some more followers, we can do some more fun stuff, and leave me some suggestions on what y'all want to see, and I will um, hop off. Have a great Monday. Thank you.